<laughs> Ciao, I'm Rick Steves. I'm in uh, Siena on my favorite square, Il Campo. And I happen to be with my favorite Sienese guide, Roberto Becchi. Ciao. Ciao, Roberto. Ciao. And we're sitting here enjoying just a cup of coffee. And it's, uh, you know, we're right here in this incredible little piece of real estate. And $2 for our macchiato. We've got a little secret hideaway. It's just a couple of uh, people know about this, but it's a bar that has this beautiful sort of, uh, oh, there's another place there, Roberto, a little pizza bar. You can go down there and have a pizza. Yes. But this is the Palio, and uh, towering way above us is the City Hall Tower. When was that built? Finished in 1348. 1348, they stacked all those bricks up there, and it's just as tall as the Tower of the Church. And it's quite a statement because Siena really had that urban pride and this to me symbolizes humanism. Yes. Uh, there's a sort of a civic and a, pride. And a compromise between the church and the secular power. So we have secular power facing the square and the church nearby. We've got our little secret perch. We're updating the new Florence and Tuscany guide, enjoying a beautiful cafe macchiato and making sure that we understand and experience the great cities of Italy like Siena. Siena. Siena is a pretty nice city. It's the best place to be born. You are born here, then the Palio, then you die. <laughs> and right on this square twice a year, it turns into pandemonium as you have the most crazy horse race anywhere in the world where there's just one rule. There are no rules. And which of the neighborhoods is the most um, worthy of the Palio? The porcupine. Absolutely the porcupine. Roberto lives in the porcupine neighborhood. Okay. Happy travels from Siena.